In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to take an illustration and draw it in Adobe Animate. So let's get started. First thing, you're going to drag the image and import it into Adobe Animate. And then using the free transform tool, you're going to rescale the image. Make sure you're hitting shift while you're rescaling so then the image does not stretch or squash. Okay, so you're preserving the ratio of the image. Okay, I'm just going to position it at the center of the stage. And then I'm going to create a duplicate for the layer. So I'm going to have reference um, as the image that I'll be drawing on. And the other image in another layer is going to be the image that I'll be taking the colors from. Now we're going to change the color effects and change the alpha to let's say 30. The next step is to kind of like break up your illustration and have multiple layers and each layer you're going to have a different element. So I broke down this character so I have the bangs in one layer and then the head and then the face, ears, the hair at the back, the neck and the clothes. So each one is going to be in a different layer and it's just going to make things easier to work with. So first thing we're going to do is going to start to draw the bangs and I'll be using the pen tool. So click and then click and drag to have the curve and then click again and then click and drag. Okay. So first the eyedropper tool to select the color and then using the bucket tool you'll color in the drawing. Then you're going to duplicate the bangs because you don't need to draw it again. Now I'm just going to remove the, the gap. So I'm going to remove the points using the sub selection tool. And then I'm going to select these two points that are opposite to each other. And I'll just shift the hair slightly up to just match it with the drawing. Then I'm going to draw the eyes. So the eyes, I'm going to use the oval shape adjust the point so then it looks similar to the drawing. So after I'm happy with the shape I'll just copy and paste the eyes and I'm hitting shift as I'm moving so then it's the same alignment. For the nose I'm going to use the oval tool and I'm just going to have a stroke and using the selection tool I'll just remove parts of the stroke. I'll increase the size of the stroke and then I have my nose easily drawn and it's just perfectly matches the drawing that I have. I'll do the same with the mouth. So using the selection tool, I remove parts of the mouth. Okay, so I have the nose, I have the mouth. Just increase the size of the stroke. Now I'll draw the cheeks. So same using the oval tool. And then using the bucket tool to change the color and I'll remove the stroke because I don't need the stroke and then I'll copy and paste the cheeks. Now let's draw the head. So I'm going to use the oval tool again and I'll just adjust it so then it matches the illustration. Okay, so I'm moving it. Now to scale it, hit Alt while you're scaling so then you don't scale the whole shape, only one side. So I have my face, it's perfectly done. Now for the ears, same, I could use the oval tool. And just rotate it slightly to match the illustration. And then using the pen tool, I'm going to draw the line. I'll just use the eyedropper tool to pick the perfect pink that matches the drawing. Copy and paste the ears, transform, flip horizontally. So now I'm going to do the hair at the back. I think the easiest way to do it is to choose the rectangle primitive tool and then I'll make it with curvy edges. So I chose 200 to just match. Now for the hair at the back, there are multiple ways of doing this. One way is to use the pen tool. So it's clicking and dragging. 
and then using the bucket tool I'll just fill in the shape and I'll remove the outline so double click to remove the outline just adjusting the points to just match the illustration now the second way of doing this is to use the oval tool okay so lock that in and now for the neck and the clothes I'll put it above the hair because they are in the front I'm going to start with the neck so I'm going to use the rectangle tool to draw her neck and using the selection tool I'll just drag the shape so then I get this curve and using the sub selection tool I'll just adjust the point so I can morph the shape I'll select it and choose the color from the eyedropper tool to match her neck and you could see that there's this like shading underneath her face so I'm going to use the oval tool to just add this sh shadow and then position it, it under the face. To crop this I'm going to use the very easy method of masking. So I'll just draw a shape and then remove it. So here I'm working on the same layer and Adobe Animate if you have multiple shapes in one layer you can cut each other. So that's something that you could use. Now for her clothes, I'm going to just use the oval tool again. So copy and paste and then polka dots shirts. So just do one circle and then copy paste it. I'll create the shirt, the orange shirt. I'll match it with the illustration and then I'll position this layer underneath polka dots and the color so now I want to crop out those circles that are outside of the shirt so one way to do this is in the orange shirt layer I'm going to draw a rectangle color it in and then I'll cut and paste it on the polka dots layer so then it would cut the elements that I don't want and you are done